Yes. Hey friends, welcome to the brand new episode of the Doctor Binoc Show. Hiya! I have a question for you. Do you know which is the deadliest animal in the world that is responsible for millions of deaths? Hiya! No. It's not the dinosaurs or crocodiles or a bunny. It's the all-powerful, all-impressive, almighty the mosquito. Yes, they are responsible for various diseases like Zika, dengue, yellow fever. But one disease that has been infecting humanity since the ages is malaria. But what causes malaria and how does it spread in our body let us explore it in today's episode zoom in here so what causes malaria individuals with malaria typically acquire the infection following a mosquito bite but before we jump to a conclusion and blame the mosquitoes we need to look deeper through a microscope to see one of the worst enemies of the human race a deadly microorganism called plasmodium a single celled parasite carried by a female mosquito called anopheles when the mosquito bites someone the parasite plasmodium sporozoite present in its salivary glands enters the body of the targeted person and immediately rushes towards the liver where they quietly enter the big cells and hide from the immune system and once they are in they colonize the place for about a month consuming the live cells and evolve themselves into a smaller form called merozoites in this form they multiply their population thousands of times and finally burst out of the cell and after coming out they carefully wrap themselves inside the membranes of the cells they have killed to remain hidden and head forward to execute their next plan of taking over the red blood cells where they again multiply inside them until the cells burst and rush to find more blood cells and the cycle continues now these dead blood cells spread lots of toxic waste material inside the body triggering a strong immune response causing flu like symptoms like chills fever sweating headache nausea aches and pains all over the body not only that if malaria affects the brain it might cause seizures or loss of consciousness and in some cases even death and once someone does not serve the parasites evil plan any more they decide to leave the victim's body and when another mosquito bites the infected person the parasite enters the mosquito and the cycle continues and this is how the deadly malaria spreads amongst humans trivia time did you know an infected person may start feeling symptoms anywhere from a week to a month after they are bitten with some rarer forms of malaria the parasite remains dormant and an infected person will not become ill for up to 4 years also unfortunately africa is home to 92% of malaria cases and 93% of malaria related deaths it's question time today's question is what species of mosquito carries malaria do write your answer in the comment section below and hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't yet to be a part of the peekaboo kids cutesy beauty family and get a chance to get it featured by the end of our videos So, here are the winners of the previous episode. Remember my friends, malaria is a dangerous disease and we all need to work together to stop it. 
and the easiest way to do so is by keeping our environment and surrounding clean. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, uh, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you.